Hi, John Wales here. I'm going to show you how I make very simple trailers for my videos. So, first thing, let's start with Google Chrome. And where I get my back in loops from is a site called movietools.info. Free video loops. And what I want is a free loop off of here. On the left hand side, you see the free content they have available. This one here, video background loops. If you go onto this site, you can search through it yourselves and see what's on here. I've been on here several times. I know that I'm going to use a high tech loop because I quite like those. Um, there's three pages, various loops, as you can see. Click on them and you can see what they look like. The one I want is on page three. And I'm going to be using this one called Blue Tunnel. Now, if you click on that, You get two standard, two versions you can download. We got the Windows Media file, WMV or MP4. I'm going to use the MP4 because I'm used to that and I'm not too techy with anything else. Here we see where it's downloaded. If I click on here, it'll say show in folder, show in folder. And here it is, WD0091. And what I'm going to do there is rename it so that I can find it. I'm going to call it what it is, Blue Tunnel. B -L -U -E. So now I've given it a name, I'll be able to find it easily. I'll put it into a file that I've built into my computer. And just take me a second to get into this. Because as I say, I'm not, I'm not very techy, but I have to do things a long way around sometimes. And what we have here is my video folder and a thing here called tutorials where I'm going to put a couple of tutorials in. So here we go. This is the loop and I'm going to put it into tutorials. Move here. Replace the file and its destination. Yes, it's asking me that because I've already made a video to make sure that I can demonstrate how to do it. All right, next thing we're going to want is an editor. I use VideoPad because I'm used to that. It took me a little bit to a learning curve. Uh, add files. I'm going to want to find the loop that I've just done. My expansion drive. John. John. Videos. Tutorials. Blue tunnel. There it is. Double click on it and it should turn up here in my viewing screen. I'm going to click play, see what it looks like. I know it looks like that because I've seen it before. That's fine. Drag it down into my timeline. So now I've got my loop. Next thing I don't want to do is put some text over it. So I'm assuming whatever editor you're using, you have a similar bar somewhere to our text. I'll click on text. And I'm going to use Mobilize, which I quite like. There we go. Now, title text. I'm going to use capital letters for everything. John Wales. Full stop. Then it's what style you want it in. I'm going to put this in RL Black, if that's how you pronounce it. I want it bold. I'm going to change the color to bright green because that will stand out. And I'm going to increase the size of it to around 22, I think I usually use. 22. Okay, and we'll play this and see what it looks like. So if I go back to the start of my video track and play. You can see with my overlay. I quite like the look of that. It's coming in nicely. But I don't want the text to start at the same time as my loop. So I'm going to pull the text forward a little bit. Maybe a second and a half, two seconds. Something like that. Send it back. So now we've got the loop starting on its own. And the text will come in afterwards. 
Uh, that's looking okay. Now I want to add another bit of text on the back here. Same again. Find your text. I'm going to use this one again. And what I'm going to put on this is, I'm going to call this a vortex title. The vortex. Vortex title, full stop. And I'm going to do exactly the same as I did the last time. I'm going to use the array of black in bold. And I'm going to take it up to 20. In fact, it's a bit of a longer word. So I'm going to take this to um, 18. And I'm going to change the color again to green. Hit OK. And let's see what this one plays like over the loop. John Wales. Vortex title. Quite like that. I'm going to close the gap. So that they're on seamlessly together. John Wales vortex title. I like that. Now the vortex title, I'm going to change a little bit on this one. And I'm so sure on yours, there'll be a thing somewhere saying FX. You can press FX. Here on um, video pad, you get a, a little pad up here where you can pick your effects from. And I'm going to put motion on this one because I want the back end of this vortex title to spin. So rotation, I want to rotate. Full 360. And then the preset, I want it to spin when it rotates clockwise. And with a little luck, if I go back to the start now, my first John Wales bit should be nice and still in green. And the next bit, vortex title spins. Now it stops a little bit soon, the vortex title. I'd like that to stretch out pretty much to the end of my title of the loop. I'll take him again. John Wales, Vortex Tidal, there we go, that's not too bad at all. Now what happens there is that this will spin for as long as your background loop runs. So I'm tempted now to shorten the loop a little bit, Oop, don't do all that, I just want to shorten the, the video loop a little bit, maybe to there, it's all a bit of guesswork. John Wales. I'm going to have to close that bit there. And I want it to end up in black. There we go. Uh, that's pretty much how I want the title sequence to work. I'm leaving the black because I'm going to start talking. The beginning of this video will be me talking over the black section. So I'll take him back once more. Run it from the start. Not too bad at all. I think I'd like a little bit more of a gap at the start, in all honesty. So I'm going to see if I can pull all this across this way a little bit. Try them again. It's trial and error. That's better. John Wales, and then I get the vortex title spinning into infinity kind of thing. Bit in black there, and I'll do some talking over the top. Next thing I want to add on is a soundtrack. So if I go back into uh -huh. no, I don't want to download just yet. I want to go back into my Google Chrome. And if any of you out there using like me learn on the learning curve, I often use the audio library provided by YouTube. They got some very nice things on there. And I know that if I click on sound effects. And I type in here vortex. What comes up is sci fi vortex. I'm going to download that. If you press the play button, you can get a preview of how it sounds. But I know what it's like, and I know I'm going to use this one. So this is what I'm going to put in. Again, on the bottom, we've got sci fi vortex. I want it to show in folder. It's got Saitai Vortex, you can see I've already downloaded it in the past. But just to show you how I do this, I'm going to go through exactly the same process I did when I first did it. 
expansion drive, John, John, videos, right click Vortex, put it down and drop it in tutorial, move here, once again replace this file because I've already done it once, but yes I'm going to replace it with this particular file, and now it should be hidden there somewhere. Close, go back onto my editor, up here to audio files because I want to add an audio, click on there, and here it is, it's opened up in the same file, uh, expansion drive, John, videos, tutorials, and here's my sci-fi vortex, double click, adds it in, and I'll pull this down onto an audio track, move this down to the front, and see what that looks and sounds like. Nice bit of sci-fi type music style, John Wales, Vortex title, and I'm going to start talking over that. And that's it. If this has been of any help to you at all. Ooh, here's my ugly mug. Okay, that's that video for this one. If you've liked it, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, don't give me a thumbs down, don't, don't do any of that. <laughs> or you can even subscribe if you'd like. I'd like some people to subscribe because at the moment I've only got a few subscribers. Uh, it's a learning curve and I'm going to be sticking around for a while and doing a few more of these tutorials. So until my next one, bye for now.